Hi! Welcome to my video. Here I will show you 20 simple but effective tips on how you may conduct your demo teaching. I will also show you some examples on how you may implement them. So, here are the 20 tips for your reference. Start by explaining the purpose and objectives of the demonstration. This will help students understand the value of what they are learning and how it fits into the overall lesson. This is important because it helps students see the relevance of the material and encourages them to engage with it. When you explain the purpose and objectives of the demonstration, you should be clear and concise. This helps students understand the main points you are trying to make and helps them focus on the key takeaways of the demo. You should also be sure to explain how the demo fits into the overall lesson and how it relates to the broader subject matter. This helps students see the big picture and understand the context in which the whole process is taking place. Overall, explaining the purpose and objectives of the demonstration is an important first step in helping students understand the value of what they are learning and how it fits into the overall lesson. It sets the stage for the rest of the demo and helps students see the relevance of the material. Use clear and concise language to explain the steps involved in the demonstration. This will help students follow along and better understand the concepts being presented. When you use language that is easy to understand and avoids unnecessary jargon or technical terms, it makes it easier for students to follow along and grasp the main points you are trying to make. Here are some tips for using clear and concise language during a demonstration. Use simple, straightforward language whenever possible. Avoid using overly complex or technical terms that may be confusing to students. Use concrete examples to illustrate the concepts you are discussing. This can help students better understand the material and see how it applies to real-world situations. Use visual aids, such as diagrams, charts, or models, to help explain the steps involved in the demonstration. This can help students better understand the concepts being presented. Break the demonstration down into small, manageable steps. This can help students follow along more easily and retain the information better. Check for understanding as you go along. Ask questions or use formative assessment techniques to gauge whether students are following along and grasping the material. Overall, using clear and concise language to explain the steps involved in a demonstration is an important way to help students better understand the concepts being presented. By using language that is easy to understand and avoiding unnecessary jargon or technical terms, you can help students follow along more easily and retain the information better. Use visual aids, such as diagrams, charts, or models, to help illustrate the points you are making. Visual aids can help students better understand the concepts being presented by providing a visual representation of the material. This can be particularly helpful for students who are visual learners or who have a hard time grasping abstract concepts. Here are some tips for using visual aids during a demonstration. Use relevant and informative visual aids. Choose visual aids that are directly related to the material you are discussing, and that help illustrate the key points you are trying to make. Make sure the visual aids are clear and easy to understand. Avoid using visual aids that are cluttered or confusing, as this can hinder rather than help student understanding. Use a variety of visual aids to keep students engaged. Mixing up the types of visual aids you use can help keep students interested and engaged in the demonstration. Use visual aids to supplement, rather than replace, your explanation. Visual aids should be used to help illustrate your points, not to replace your verbal explanation. Make sure the visual aids are properly prepared and ready to use. Make sure that any diagrams or charts are clear and easy to read, and that any models or other hands-on materials are in good condition and ready for use. Overall, using visual aids can be a very effective way to help illustrate the points you are making during a demonstration. By choosing relevant and informative visual aids and using them in a clear and engaging way, you can help students better understand the material and retain the information better. Use hands-on activities and examples to help students better understand the concepts being demonstrated. Hands-on activities allow students to actively engage with the material and apply what they are learning in a practical way. This can help them better understand the concepts and see how they apply to real-world situations. Here are some tips for using hands-on activities and examples during a demonstration. Choose activities that are directly related to the material being demonstrated. This will help students see the relevance of the activity and how it relates to the concepts they are learning. Make the activities interactive and engaging. 
Use activities that involve group work or problem solving to encourage students to actively engage with the material. Use a variety of hands-on activities to keep students interested and engaged. Mixing up the types of activities you use can help keep students interested and motivated to learn. Provide clear instructions and guidelines for the activities. Make sure students understand what they are expected to do and how to complete the activity. Encourage students to apply the concepts they are learning to real-world situations. Use examples from everyday life to help students see how the concepts apply to their own experiences. Overall, using hands-on activities and examples can be an effective way to help students better understand the concepts being demonstrated. By actively engaging with the material and applying it to real-world situations, students can better understand the material and retain the information better. Encourage students to ask questions and participate in the demonstration. This will help them better understand the material and allow you to address any misconceptions they may have. When students are actively engaged in the learning process, they are more likely to retain the information and understand the concepts being presented. Here are some tips for encouraging student participation in a demo class. Encourage students to ask questions throughout the process. This can help you gauge their understanding of the material and address any misconceptions they may have. Encourage students to share their thoughts and ideas with the class. This can help create a collaborative learning environment and encourage students to think critically about the material. Use interactive activities, such as role-playing or problem-solving exercises, to engage the students. These types of activities encourage students to actively participate and apply what they are learning. Use group work or pair work to encourage student participation. Working in small groups or pairs can help students feel more comfortable asking questions and sharing their thoughts and ideas. Use formative assessment techniques, such as quizzes or surveys, to check student understanding during the demo. This can help you identify any areas of confusion and address them as needed. Overall, encouraging students to ask questions and participate in the demonstration is an important way to help them better understand the material and address any misconceptions they may have. By actively engaging students in the learning process, you can help them retain the information and apply it to real-world situations. Use a variety of teaching methods, such as lectures, group discussions, and hands-on activities, to engage students and keep them interested in the demonstration. Different students have different learning styles, and using a variety of teaching methods allows you to reach a wider range of learners and keep everyone engaged in the material. Here are some tips for using a variety of teaching methods during a demonstration. Use lectures to present the main points and concepts of the demonstration. This can be an effective way to provide a broad overview of the material. Use group discussions to encourage students to share their thoughts and ideas about the material. This can help create a collaborative learning environment and encourage critical thinking. Use hands-on activities to allow students to actively engage with the material and apply what they are learning in a practical way. Use multimedia resources, such as videos or online resources, to supplement the demonstration and provide additional examples and explanations. Use a combination of these methods to keep students engaged and interested in the demonstration. Mixing up the types of activities and resources you use can help keep students interested and motivated to learn. Overall, using a variety of teaching methods can be an effective way to engage students and keep them interested in the demonstration. By presenting the material in different ways, you can reach a wider range of learners and help students better understand and retain the information. Practice the piece beforehand to ensure that you are comfortable with the material and can clearly explain the steps involved. By practicing, you can identify any areas that may be confusing or unclear and have time to work on them before the actual demo. This can help you feel more confident and prepared, which can translate to a more successful outcome for your students. Here are some tips for practicing beforehand. Review the material thoroughly before practicing. Make sure you understand the concepts and steps involved. Practice the demonstration in front of a mirror or with a colleague. This can help you get a sense of how you look and sound as you present the material. Time yourself as you practice. This can help you determine whether you need to speed up or slow down your delivery. Rehearse any hands-on activities or examples you will be using. This will help you feel more confident and prepared when you demonstrate them to your students. Make a list of key points and steps to remember. This can help you stay organized and focused during the demo. Overall, 
Practicing beforehand is an important way to ensure that you are comfortable with the material and can clearly explain the steps involved. By reviewing the material and rehearsing the demo, you can feel more confident and prepared, which can lead to a more successful presentation for your students. Use real-world examples to help students relate the concepts being demonstrated to their own experiences. When students can see how the concepts being demonstrated apply to their own lives, they are more likely to be interested in the material and motivated to learn. Here are some tips for using real-world examples during a demo. Choose examples that are relevant and relatable to your students. This will help students see the relevance of the material and how it applies to their own experiences. Use concrete examples rather than abstract concepts. This can help students better understand the material and see how it applies to real-world situations. Use examples from a variety of sources, such as current events, personal experiences, or everyday life. This can help keep students engaged and interested in the demo. Encourage students to share their own examples and experiences related to the concepts being demonstrated. This can help create a collaborative learning environment and encourage critical thinking. Use examples to illustrate key points and concepts. This can help students better understand the material and retain the information. Overall, using real-world examples can be an effective way to help students relate the concepts being demonstrated to their own experiences. By showing students how the material applies to their own lives, you can increase student understanding and engagement. Encourage students to take notes during the demonstration to help them retain the information. When students take notes, they are actively engaged in the learning process and are more likely to pay attention to and remember the material being presented. Here are some tips for encouraging students to take notes during a demonstration. Encourage students to bring their own note-taking materials, such as paper and pens or a laptop. This will help them feel more prepared and ready to take notes. Provide clear and concise instructions for taking notes. Explain what types of information students should focus on and how to organize their notes. Use visual aids, such as diagrams or charts, to help students take notes. These can be helpful for students who prefer visual learning. Encourage students to ask questions and clarify any points they may be unsure about as they take notes. This can help them better understand the material and retain the information. Use formative assessment techniques, such as quizzes or surveys, to check student understanding and retention of the material. This can help you gauge whether students are effectively taking and retaining notes. Overall, encouraging students to take notes during the demonstration is an effective way to help them retain the information. By actively engaging students in the learning process and providing them with the tools and resources they need to take effective notes, you can help them better understand and remember the material being presented. Be prepared to adapt to the needs and interests of your students. Different students have different learning styles, backgrounds, and needs, and being prepared to adapt to these differences can help you reach a wider range of learners and increase student engagement and understanding. Here are some tips for adapting to the needs and interests of your students. Use a variety of teaching methods and resources. Different students may respond better to different types of activities or resources, so it's important to mix things up and try different approaches. Use examples and scenarios that are relevant and relatable to your students. This can help students see the relevance of the material and how it applies to their own lives. Encourage student participation and allow for flexibility during the demo. This can help you adapt to the needs and interests of your students as you go along. Use formative assessment techniques, such as quizzes or surveys, to check student understanding and identify any areas of confusion. This can help you adapt the demo to address any misunderstandings or misconceptions students may have. Be open to feedback from your students. Ask for their input and suggestions on how to make the demonstration more engaging and relevant to their needs. Overall, being prepared to adapt to the needs and interests of your students is an important way to ensure that all students are engaged and able to learn. By using a variety of teaching methods and resources, using relevant and relatable examples, and being open to student feedback, you can help reach a wider range of learners and increase student engagement and understanding. Use varied pacing and tone to keep students engaged and interested in the demonstration. Varying the pace and tone of your delivery can help keep students interested and attentive, and can help you emphasize important points or concepts. Here are some tips for using varied pacing and tone during a demo. 
Use a slower pace and a lower tone when introducing new concepts or ideas. This can help students focus and understand the material better. Use a faster pace and a higher tone to emphasize important points or to add excitement. This can help keep students interested and engaged. Use inflection and emphasis to highlight key points and concepts. This can help students better understand and remember the material. Use pauses and changes in tone to add emphasis or to signal transitions between different parts of the demo. This can help keep students attentive and help them follow along more easily. Vary your pacing and tone to match the content and mood of the presentation. For example, if you are discussing a more serious or technical topic, you may want to use a slower pace and a more serious tone. Overall, using varied pacing and tone can be an effective way to keep students engaged and interested in the demonstration. By varying your delivery, you can emphasize important points, add excitement, and help students better understand and remember the material. Encourage students to apply the concepts they have learned to real-world situations. When students can see how the concepts being demonstrated apply to their own lives or to real-world situations, they are more likely to be motivated to learn and remember the material. Here are some tips for encouraging students to apply the concepts they have learned to real-world situations. Use real-world examples and scenarios during the demo to illustrate how the concepts apply to everyday life. Encourage students to share their own examples and experiences related to the concepts being demonstrated. This can help create a collaborative learning environment and encourage critical thinking. Use hands-on activities and projects that allow students to apply the concepts they have learned in a practical way. Encourage students to think about how they can use the concepts they have learned in their own lives or in their future careers. Use formative assessment techniques, such as quizzes or surveys, to check student understanding and retention of the material. Ask questions that require students to apply the concepts to real-world situations. Overall, encouraging students to apply the concepts they have learned to real-world situations is an important way to help them better understand and retain the information. By showing students how the material applies to their own lives or to real-world situations, you can increase their motivation to learn and help them better understand and remember the material. Use interactive activities, such as role-playing or problem-solving exercises, to engage students in the demo. Interactive activities allow students to actively engage with the material and apply what they are learning in a practical way. This can help them better understand the concepts and see how they apply to real-world situations. Here are some tips for using interactive activities during a demo. Choose activities that are directly related to the material being demonstrated. This will help students see the relevance of the activity and how it relates to the concepts they are learning. Make the activities interactive and engaging. Use activities that involve group work or problem solving to encourage students to actively engage with the material. Use a variety of interactive activities to keep students interested and engaged. Mixing up the types of activities you use can help keep students interested and motivated to learn. Provide clear instructions and guidelines for the activities. Make sure students understand what they are expected to do and how to complete the activity. Encourage students to apply the concepts they are learning to real-world situations. Use examples from everyday life to help students see how the concepts apply to their own experiences. Overall, using interactive activities can be an effective way to engage students in the presentation. By actively engaging students with the material and allowing them to apply what they are learning in a practical way, you can help them better understand with comprehension. Encourage students to reflect on what they have learned during the demo and how they can apply it to their own lives. There are several informal ways you can encourage students to reflect on what they have learned. Here are a few examples. Encourage students to discuss the material with their peers. This can help them reflect on what they have learned. Ask students to write a reflection on what they have absorbed and how they can apply it personally to their lives. This can be done in the form of a journal entry or a short essay. Encourage students to create a presentation or project that demonstrates their understanding of the material and its real-life application. Have students create a list of actions for personal use. Ask students to share their reflections or action items with the class. This can help create a collaborative learning environment and encourage critical thinking. Overall, encouraging students to reflect on what they have learned during the demonstration and how they can apply it to their own lives is an important way to help them better understand and retain the information. 
by providing opportunities for students to think critically about the material and how it applies to their own lives. You can help them better understand and remember the concepts being presented. Use multimedia resources, such as videos or online resources, to supplement your demo. Provide additional examples and explanations for this. Here are a few examples. Show a short video related to the material being demonstrated. This can provide additional examples and explanations and can help illustrate key points or concepts. Use online resources, such as websites or interactive games, for supplement. These can provide additional examples and explanations and can help students in their understanding of the subject. Use multimedia resources as part of an interactive activity or project. For example, you could ask students to create a presentation or video that portrays their understanding of the material. Share links to relevant multimedia resources with students. This can provide students with additional resources to help them better understand. Use multimedia resources to supplement a hands-on activity or example. For example, you could use a video to demonstrate a process or concept, and then have students try it themselves. Overall, using multimedia resources can be an effective way to supplement the demonstration and provide additional examples and explanations. By providing a variety of resources and incorporating them into your teaching, you can help students better understand for retention. Set clear expectations for student participation and behavior during the demo. Setting clear expectations is an important way to create a positive and productive learning environment. When students know what is expected of them, they are more likely to be engaged and motivated to learn. Here are some tips for setting clear expectations for student participation and behavior during a demo. Communicate clearly your expectations for student participation and behavior from the beginning. This can help students know what is expected of them and how to participate effectively. Use positive reinforcement for students to meet your expectations. This can include praising students for their participation and effort or offering rewards or incentives for meeting specific goals. Employ assessment techniques, such as quizzes or surveys, to check student understanding and engagement. This can help you identify any areas where students may be struggling and adjust your teaching accordingly. Encourage students to ask questions and participate in the process. This can help create a collaborative learning environment and encourage critical thinking. Use clear and consistent rules and consequences to manage student behavior. This can help create a positive and productive learning environment. Overall, setting clear expectations for student participation and behavior is an important way to create a positive and productive learning environment. By clearly communicating your expectations and using positive reinforcement and formative assessment techniques, you can encourage student engagement and participation and help create a positive learning environment. Encourage students to work in small groups or pairs to practice the concepts demonstrated. Working in small groups or pairs can be a helpful way for students to practice and apply the concepts they have learned. It can be especially effective when used in conjunction with hands-on activities, such as experiments or projects, as it allows students to collaborate, communicate, and problem-solve together. Here are some benefits of encouraging students to work in small groups or pairs. It can promote active learning, when students work together, they are more likely to engage with the material and think critically about the concepts they are learning. It can facilitate peer teaching, working in pairs or small groups allows students to explain concepts to each other, which can help them better understand the material and solidify their own understanding. It can foster social skills, collaborating with others helps students develop communication, teamwork, and conflict resolution skills. It can cater to different learning styles, working in small groups allows students to learn in different ways, whether through discussion, hands-on activities, or visual aids. Overall, encouraging students to work in small groups or pairs can be a valuable learning experience that helps them develop a deeper understanding of the material as well as important social and collaboration skills. Use formative assessment techniques, such as quizzes or surveys, to check student understanding during the demonstration. Formative assessment techniques are those that are used to assess student learning and understanding during the learning process, rather than at the end of a unit or course. These techniques can provide valuable feedback to both the instructor and the students about what is being learned, as well as identify areas where additional support may be needed. Some examples of formative assessment techniques that can be used during a demonstration include 
Quizzes, short quizzes or pop quizzes can be used to check student understanding of the material being demonstrated. These can be given at the beginning, middle, or end of a demonstration to gauge student progress. Surveys. Surveys or questionnaires can be used to gather feedback from students about their understanding of the material and their learning needs. Surveys can be administered online or on paper. Think Pair Share. This technique involves having students think about a question or problem individually, discuss their ideas with a partner, and then share their thoughts with the larger group. This can be a useful way to gauge student understanding and identify any misconceptions. Exit Tickets At the end of a demonstration, students can complete an exit ticket, with a few questions or prompts to reflect on what they have learned. These can be collected and used to inform instruction. Overall, using formative assessment techniques during a demonstration can help instructors assess student understanding and identify areas where additional support may be needed. It can also help students track their own progress and identify areas where they need to focus their efforts. Provide feedback and support to students as they work. Providing feedback and support to students as they work through a demonstration can be an important way to facilitate learning and ensure that students stay engaged and motivated. Here are some strategies for providing feedback and support to students during a demo. Monitor student progress. Observing students as they go through the whole process can provide valuable insights into their understanding and areas where they may need additional support. Offer guidance and clarification. If students seem to be struggling with a concept or task, offer guidance and clarification to help them stay on track. This might involve re-explaining a concept, providing examples, or demonstrating a skill. Encourage collaboration and discussion. Encourage students to work together and discuss the material with one another. This can help them clarify their understanding and problem-solve together. Provide individualized feedback, when appropriate, offer personalized feedback to students based on their specific needs and goals. This might involve giving specific suggestions for improvement or addressing areas where a student is particularly strong. Offer additional resources, if students are having difficulty with the material, consider providing additional resources such as practice problems, video tutorials, or supplementary readings. Overall, providing feedback and support to students as they work through a demo can help them stay engaged and motivated, and can help ensure that they are able to fully understand and apply the material being presented. End the demonstration by summarizing the main points and reinforcing the key takeaways for students. Summarizing the main points and reinforcing the key takeaways at the end can help students better retain the material and understand its relevance. Here are some strategies for summarizing and reinforcing key takeaways. Review the main points, review the main points covered during the demo highlighting the most important concepts and ideas. This can help students consolidate their understanding and reinforce the key takeaways. Emphasize the relevance, explain the relevance of the material covered to real-world applications or other concepts covered in the course. This can help students see the value in what they have learned and motivate them for topic retention. Provide examples, use examples to illustrate the main points and key points of the demo. This can help students better understand and remember the material. Encourage questioning, encourage students to ask questions or discuss the material with one another to further reinforce their understanding. This can also help identify any remaining misunderstandings or gaps in knowledge. Overall, summarizing and reinforcing the highlights at the end of a demonstration can help students better retain the material and understand its relevance, which can improve their learning outcomes. That will be all for now. If you'd like to receive my upcoming videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. Also, let me know your comments down below. Thank you.